Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into the epic battle of the e-commerce business models, dropshipping versus private label versus wholesale. Buckle up, because we're about to break down the pros, cons, and everything in between to help you choose the ultimate champion for your online hustle. Let's face it, starting an online store can be confusing. With all these different models floating around, how do you know which one is right for you? Don't worry, entrepreneur wannabes, we've got your back. First up, dropshipping. This is a business model where you sell products directly from the manufacturer or wholesaler to the customer without ever handling the products yourself. The main advantage of dropshipping is the low startup cost. You don't need to invest in inventory up front, which makes it a low risk option for those just starting out. However, dropshipping does have its drawbacks. Reduced profit margins. Since suppliers handle the manufacturing and shipping, they often take a significant portion of the profits, leaving you with a smaller cut. Limited control. In dropshipping, you don't have control over product quality, shipping times, or branding. This can lead to customer dissatisfaction if the supplier doesn't meet expectations. Dependence on suppliers. Your business is heavily reliant on your suppliers. If they encounter any issues, it can directly impact your business and customer satisfaction. Next, we have private label. This is when you contract with a manufacturer to produce a product that you sell under your brand. The advantage of private labeling is that it allows for higher profit margins and brand control. You can dictate the quality, design, and pricing of your products. However, private labeling also has its challenges. Higher startup costs, creating your own product, establishing a brand, and stocking inventory requires a substantial financial investment. More time commitment. Building a brand is not an overnight process. It takes time, effort, and a lot of hustle. Higher risk. There's a risk of ending up with unsold inventory, which can lead to financial losses. Lastly, wholesale. This involves buying products in bulk from a manufacturer or supplier at a discounted price and then reselling them. The advantage of wholesale is the potential for high profit margins if you can move large volumes. However, wholesale also has its challenges. High upfront costs. Buying in bulk requires a substantial financial investment upfront. Storage costs. Storing all that inventory can be costly, especially if you need to rent a warehouse. Risk of obsolescence. There's always a risk that your chosen products could suddenly become unpopular or outdated, leaving you with unsold inventory. So, which one is right for you? That depends on your budget, risk tolerance, and business goals. If you're just starting and have a limited budget, dropshipping might be the best option. If you have more capital and want to build a strong brand, consider private labeling. And if you're all about moving volume, wholesale could be the way to go. That's it for today's video. If you found this information helpful, please give us a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Don't forget to leave your questions and comments below, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.